right, my fellow Italians, let's just get this over with. Sorry, the acoustics are bad. This is a new room. I am in Germany right now, and the acoustics are garbage. Chapter 11. Obligatory Christmas chapter, Desu. It was Christmas Eve, and America was getting ready for the fucking epic Christmas party he was going to have. Everyone was going to be there, even creeps like Russia and France. It would be so cool. He had been decorating his for like forever. There's no house there, it just de says decorating his. Just so everyone else could see how epic he is. OMG, he was just so heroic. He just could wait for everyone to see what he'd bought them. For England, he bought a pass for free McDonald's for a whole year. Everyone knew how much England loves McDonald's. He's just a big sun sun dera dera. For France, he had bought some underwear that was super glued around the edges because no one wants to see France take it off. <laughs> that is ingenious. If it was sexy woman's underwear, then it wasn't too bad. For Italy, he invented a pasta burger. <laughs> It was way better than any of Italy's crappy pasta dishes. More salt and fat, yes. More is spelled M-O-A-R. There were a load more, but no one cares. There was also some maple syrup for someone whose name America couldn't really remember, but he had an idea that he really fucking loved maple syrup, imported from Canada, no less. America had struggled to find a dog that would let him wrap it, so we settled for a stuffed dog with a hole in it for Germany. <laughs> anyway, everything was ready. There was a million tonnes of awesome American food, several lorries of full alcohol, because pretty much everyone is an alcoholic, and it was even snowing. So pretty kawaii desu. So America decided to go to bed because he totally didn't believe in Santa anymore. Not after England left. Sad flashback time. England, you used to be so kawaii. And sad flashback. So America woke up and went downstairs to admire all his heroic presents. However, everything was gone. Tony, you dick, you better give them back. But Tony hadn't stolen them. He even pinky promised. America was super worried. He looked all around his house for presents, but he couldn't find them. He was almost in tears when the first guest arrived. Hey, you guys! Um, I did have awesome presents for you, but they've been stolen! But no one believed America because he's kind of an idiot and always forgets shit like this. You bloody fool, there's no use lying. Just say you forgot, we don't bloody care. Oui, listen to Koei Angleterre, it doesn't matter. But guys, I really did! Oh, bloody shut up and let's get pissed. So all the other nations got drunk, but America was sad. If only I could find out who stole Christmas. But then he noticed something. There was a trail of water heading out of the door. OMG, Tony, let's follow this trail! So they did, and everyone went for quite a while. Eventually, they found the culprit. America couldn't believe it. OMG, it was you! It was the whale, the one who had taken America to evil scientists' lair. But why? The whale shed a single man re tear. Because you promised you'd make me president, but you never came back for me. I was so lonely, so lonely. America felt so bad for the poor thing. Well, you don't have to be alone anymore. Come to my party. We'll have a fun kawaii time, that's all! The whale accepted, and so they went back to the party with all the presents. When they got back to the party, America saw that they were all have an awesome time. England and France were pissed out of their tiny minds and, and dancing naked on top of a table. Germany had a dog in his cock because he's Germany. And is dancing with Italy, who was constantly asking, Is dog sex tasted like pasta? Is dog sex tasted like pasta? What even? Spain was dressing Romano up as Dora the Explorer for the lols. Yeah, for the lols, and not for the fantasies. Russia had the Baltics walking around him in a conga line, occasionally throwing empty bottles at them when they went too slow. <laughs> Russia had his little bird 
We're teaching Hana Tamago and various other creatures how to play strip poker, but they aren't wearing any clothes. Japan and China were having some weird kung fu ninja showdown and speaking in weird unkawaii moon speak. What the fuck? Belarus and her mysterious husband were in the corner doing, Oh god, I don't even want to know. Put that little bottle of maple syrup down, mystery man. So America gave everyone their presents, and everything was right in the world. He declared the whale his boss that night too, and they lived happily ever after until the whale discovered that he couldn't actually live on land. Sand suffocated and died. Om nom nom whale meat. End of chapter 11, thank God. Chapter 12. Russia is so fat like OMG. When the party was over, Poland got like so totally bored. Totally. He'd painted his nails every color of the rainbow, i.e. neon pink, the baby pink, then hot pink, then fuchsia, then sparkly pink. But you're all too mundane to get it, so moving on. He had arranged his skirts so they were now from longest to shortest instead of from shortest to longest. He had given all of his My Little Ponies makeovers, so he did the next logical thing. OMG, like, throwing stones at Liet is so totally fun. But now this one is partitioning, da? Stop throwing stones at me, you big bullies! Estonia and Lethe are just as fun to torment, so why does it have to be me? Suddenly, a bear! Lithuania, it looks like Mr. Bear is starting his mating season. Maybe you would like to have his kawaii babies, da? Lithuania ran away because M. Prag is really uncool. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Beautiful. In fact, if you like him, Prank, you might as well just get AIDS and die, you sick fuck. So while Estonia was trying to keep Latvia still because FFS, we need a clear shot of Lithuania being raped by a bear for the website. What the fuck? I don't want to read this fanfiction anymore. Poor Rando and Russia decided to go ruin someone else's life. Hey, fatty, let's go pick on France. Russia would set it by this. He isn't fat, he's just big-boned. Plus, he has to wear lots of clothes because it's kind of cold in Russia, if you haven't noticed. Poland, you really don't mean this, right? I thought we were friends. A single icy tear ran down his cheek. Um, duh, you're way too fat, but it, that's totally fine. I can help you, like, get really cute and thin. Really? You would help me? OMG. Russia and Poland held each other's hands and gazed lovingly into each other's eyes until they realized that they still had to go and bully France. Arm in arm, they skipped through Europe until they reached France. Eventually, they reached France's Kauai house, which was the Eiffel Tower, lol. Surprise! But they were the ones who were surprised because just as they leapt through the open window, they saw that France had his dick in. Oh no, no, please don't have it be an animal. You don't look so surprised, you fucking wankers. Yes, it was England, who was such a slut, by the way. First America, then tentacles, now France. I think we all know how STDs are perpetuated now. So much for being repressed, France merely carried on unperturbed. Bonjour, mon ami. If you want to go and just wait in the lounge, I'll be with you shortly. Angleterre shouldn't be too much longer. Bollocks! With that, England hit France in the face and knocked him out. Tally-ho! Then he jumped out of the window that Pololo land and Russia came in through and ran away into the night and probably got raped on his way home. I don't care. <laughs> what even is this? So, like, what should we do now, big guy? Russia blushed a little. You could tell me how to lose weight, da? Pororororororororando, then leaning closer. The secret is. Russia felt that he would just die out of anticipation. Putting your dick in a dog. Russia screamed because at the moment Poland ripped off his face and it was really Germany. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Chapter 13. Yo, 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 what's up, bitches? 
So basically, the whole theory that Germany is actually the Holy Roman Empire is bullshit because we just proved that Germany was Poland all along. HRE died in a war, get over it. Though, obviously, he came back to life with everyone else. Though, instead of doing the obvious thing and joining with the epic Germanic dance party, he decided that the most logical thing to do was visit his beloved Italia-chan. Oh shit, dog, I don't remember none of this shit back when I visited my bitch. Them color tangs better be faster than the any damn horse I ever rode, yo. This is written out. I am sorry. So, because he was such a gangster, he commandeered one of the colored vehicle thingies and set off in the big direction of Italy's house. Oh yeah, he's never seen a car. Obviously, because he's from the past and doesn't give a shit about roads or know how to drive, etc., he killed several random people and a couple of radioactive flying cows. But no one cares about humans or cows. Just moe moe countries, desu. Eventually, he found Italy's house. He left the blood splattered thingy in the middle of the road because parking is for poofs like France, lol, and went in and knocked on the door. The door opened to reveal a very kawaii young man. Hey, bro, who the fuck is you and where is my Italy chan? I've been away fighting and now I'm back to see my ho. Where she be at, yo? <laughs> but Italy couldn't reply because he was too busy being out. Vey, vey, it's you, Holy Roman Empire. Yay, what is sex? Vey, why did it take you so long? I got this close to cheating on you with Germany. But he says that dog t sex tastes better than pasta and pizza combined, so he doesn't want to do it with me anymore because my dog impression isn't very good and I still pretend to be a virgin because I can't handle the shame of knowing that I'm not good enough for my beloved toys. But HRE got bored and grabbed Italy's curl, making him actually piss himself because secretly... The stupid hair doesn't get him aroused, it just makes them want to pee very badly. If this turns you on, you are almost as much of a sick fuck as the people who like M-Preg. This is in parentheses, I am not reading this out loud. OMG, it really is you, Italy. Why is you a man? Why did you lie to me, you ho? I'm gonna cut you real bad in it. Well, it's a long story. Basically, when I was a kid, I was all gender confused, so I decided to dress like a girl. Hungry lady had me, but I found out later that she just wanted to watch me and you get it on. Speaking of which, would you like to take my virginity, way? All of a sudden, there was a nasty burning smell, and thick black smoke came out of the kitchen. OMG, I burnt my pasta. I would have let you have some now, but it's ruined. Italy started crying. You bitch. What I told you about burning my dinner. Oh, you gonna pay now, you filthy slag. And so HRE started beating up Kawaii Italy Chan. Who is such a bitch? You are not worthy of some awesome guy like me. Say, you are sorry, ho. I'm sorry, V. So, so sorry. I want to end again, V. This is impossible to read. Yeah, well, I is gonna make sure that you never does it again, yeah? Then HRE raped Italy in the hallway, even though the door was still open, but no one seemed to care for some reason. IDK, maybe everyone in Italy is blind and deaf or just plain stupid. Her stereotypes. Anyway, the World Task Force just happened to be flying overhead and saw what was happening. OMG, guys, you see that down there? I think I need to be the hero, that's all. My is implement showing his amour to little Italy-chan. Big enough stop say amour. I bet we do the opposite of what the stupid frog says. Also, can I go home now? I'm missing EastEnders, you wankers. Maybe Italy would like to be one kawaii in Mother Russia, da? We will have vodka and bears and sunflowers. So beautiful. Adi. So they swooped down and saved Italy and then took HRE back to Germany land. Not another one. Don't you know that I already have to put up with Prussia and Germania? Soon there will be barely enough space to put my dick in a dog. Sorry, Germany, but you have to put up with him because I'm the hero. And then they flew away and just managed to catch Eastenders. Chapter 14. Eels up inside ya. Oh god, please don't have this be another tentacle chapter. After Eastenders was finished, England decided he would take a walk. It was a pretty nice day, so he went down to the canal near his house. So he was walking along, minding his own business when, all of a sudden, floating near the water was a dead eel, OMG! 
There was a couple of swans around too, but England didn't really care about them since he's eaten them often enough. But this eel was fascinating. It was just lying there, its eye all white and shit. So he bent down for a closer look. Suddenly, the dead eel leapt out of the water, knocking him to his feet. He was too surprised to say anything. So all he could do was sit there as the eel buried his way, its way into his trousers. What the fuck are you doing, you slimy bastard? The eel was ice cold, and its skin was soft and wet. He tried to put on his best Cinderella face, but the slippery thing was writhing about in his trousers. Just fit so... Good! No! It was wrong! Being violated by a dead eel shouldn't feel good at all. The eel penetrated him deeply. <laughs> its slimy skin was an excellent lubricant, and since England was such a slut, it didn't hurt too much. Bloody hell, this is better than that tentacle monster. Oh, God, harder eel. Let's do my line with for one and then. How about that? This light of mine, yob. So the eel obliged. England can feel it decomposing inside of him. Its little dead body disintegrating with every little movement. As its skin ruptured, hundreds of squishy, pearly maggots burst out, which meant he was form full of warm little insect bodies. Oh, this is fucking disgusting. Oh, God, yes. An elderly couple were walking a dog nearby and were TTLY shocked to see England being violated by a dead eel. So shocked, in fact, that they didn't see Germany run away with his dick and their dog. I knew it. Such is life. Suddenly, England was filled with the urge to eat, so he pulled the eel out, leaving a trail of liquidized eel guts behind it and nom nom nommed it. A fucking course he did. The sheer pleasure he got w from this was enough to knock him unconscious. Some time later, England woke up. He felt different. So he made his way back to his house because Easterners is on again and I don't want to miss it. He dripped dead eel guts and maggots out all the way home. OMG, England, what happened to you? Quiet boy, I'll cut you. America was all upset. First England had come home green when he's supposed to be Yellow Ranger, and now he's being a cunt to the hero. What? England had sat himself at the old piano that was conveniently there, lol. I'm talking about eels, boy. Eels up inside ya, finding an entrance where they can. Eels up inside ya, finding an entrance where they can. Bore through your mind, through your tummy, through your anus. Eels. Whilst he was singing, England was hitting the keyboard randomly in time, which was a uh, creepy. So America hit him over the head and threw him in the bath so he could get clean again. But the next morning, chapter 15, I'm not your fucking mother. The next morning, Seelin woke up because of Hanatamago as usual. How boring, lol. Mama Finland, what's for breakfast? I'm not your fucking mother, I'm a man. And, and I'm making pancakes, so sit down, dear. I'll bring you a plate. Sweden slipped a 1,000 kroner note under the table. Good boy, keep calling him that and I'll keep paying you. This is ingenious. Good job, writing Sweden. Seelin nodded, though he only really did it because Sweden was super kawaii, though the money was a nice added bonus. Though think of all the water pistols he could buy for the next time he had to succeed England. Okay then, wife, what are you doing today? Finland slammed the knife down. I'm not your fucking wife, you can't. I just thought I we'd take Seelin to Disneyland. He's always wanted to go, after all. Yay, Disneyland! Thank you so much, Mama Finland! I'm not your mama. Why don't you ever listen to what I say, you little fucker? Yes, it will be fun. Now finish up your pancakes and we'll get going. So they drove all the way to Disneyland, singing Moomin's theme all the way. When they got there, Finland and Sweden took Seeland on loads of totally awesome rides. But it wasn't the most awesome thing ever, since he was too short to go on the really scary ones. Though they were probably nothing compared to Ger that Germany guy when he ran out of dogs. <laughs> Mama Finland, I'm hungry. Shut up, you little brat, and never call me that again. Well, I suppose it's lunchtime. Let's find somewhere nice to eat. So they made their way to one of this number many restaurants. Unbeknownst to them, there was a princess with an alarming facial hair following them. Ho ho ho, I'll catch him off guard and seize the spawn of Angleterre as payback for when he ditched me. 
France pawns something's ceiling, whilst Finland and Sweden were off. IDK probably making out in a corner or something. They're married, it's allowed. Mama, Papa, help me. Don't fucking call me mom. And get your hands off me, you file rat monster. Uh, no, oh, okay, that says molester. Oh, my bad. Hey, it was just once, and Zedra it was sexy. Enough, I challenge you to a duel. We will fight on that roller coaster. I accept. So Finland and France started fighting on the Spates mountain ride. Papa Sweden, will mom and that crazy man be okay? Probably, they nations after all. So ignoring the fact that they could have just run away, Sweden and Zeeland watched Finland beat the crap out of France. France started crying, so Zeeland ran up and gave him a big hug. It's okay, crazy man. By the way, if I go with you, would you acknowledge me as a real nation? Well, I don't see why not. That's good enough for me. Bye bye, Mama and Papa. Zeeland waved as he walked off, hand in hand with France. I told you not to call me Mama, you stupid fucking rat. Wait, Zeeland, no, don't leave us. Uh, it's no use, wife. We should have just acknowledged him ourselves. I told you I'm not your fucking wife. Listen to me. I guess you're right. Wait, I think we left Hannah Tamago home all day with no food and water. So Finland hurried home, singing the Moomin's theme in reverse, which isn't hard if your language is gobbledygook anyways. I can do one more chapter. Okay, maybe not. End of chapter 15.